leo nimekuja tuongee story ya the current situation in Kenya na hasa nataka concentrate na story za biashara <laughs> mtu wangu si secret tena mtu wangu saizi kufanya biashara Kenya ni ngumu sana kuna makampuni mob zimeamua kutoka Kenya zika relocate to our neighboring countries chini chini ya maji tu chini ya maji tu within no time mtu wangu makampuni zitakuwa zimeenda nyingi sana kwa sababu kitu moja ni high cost of electricity ingine high taxation na cheki hizi zote zimefanya makampuni zianze kufikiria venye zinaweza work out of this country kwa sababu let us be real eh? mtu wangu hizi boundaries zetu tunakoga nazo ati tunaita wa Kenya wengine wajita wa Uganda wengine wanajita wa Burundi zile weko na wakoloni initially hizi vitu hazikuwa so whatever is happening right now waso wa realize hata eh? ukizenda pa TZ juu vitu zao zinaenda ni kama zinaenda vizuri utafanya biashara yako vizuri na utaweza kufikia wale customers wako wa Kenya wenye ulikuwa nao kitambo <laughs> we naelekea wapi na hii story now story ni hivi juzi tuliona eh? one of the leading media groups standard group ati ajalipa wafanyikazi wake for the last 10 no, months <laughs> We, mtu wangu is not a job man. Nilikuwa nashindwa. Ni kwa nini watangazaji wa Radio Maisha we, eni hasa sana sana wa radio walikuwa wanatoka wanachukuliwa na wanachukuliwa na TV 47. Ama na, 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 na TV na, na, na TV radio. Yani TV 47 radio. Sikujua kumbe Standard Group inapitia mashida hivi. Mm? Sasa inish, eh, sasa juzi niliona ilikuwa last month walitumia barua wakaambiwa sasa uh, ukitaka kuleta mapema kampuni iko willing kukulipa pesa zako benefits zako before ikuachilie kwa sababu haiwezi manage kurun hour say wote hivyo eh? wanafikiria venye wana change business model hey, mtu wangu kama ni standard group inafanya hivyo ni nini hiyo iliharibika hivyo I think nikiangalia historia yao sana sana ili happen to ya mismanagement. I remember early last year wali have to change their business model wakasema watashughulika sana na stories za online. Mpaka waka have to change kila kitu kwa, kwa studio wakaifanya ika international. Eh yani wakaifanya ika kitu kali. Na hiyo yote ilikuwa ina cost do. <laughs> Nasikia kitu na wakula sasa hizi ni pending bills. <laughs> Watu walifanya kazi huko hawajai lipoa. We mtu wangu, hii life ni si mchezo. Ukiangalia Standard Group is not a secret. Yeah, inakuwa owned by the Moy family. Now, Moy family is one of the richest families in Kenya. I think they are number two after the Kenyatas. Ni nini hiyo inafanya wasiende wakaokoe hiyo biashara? <laughs> Eh mtu wangu ni komoto kama mmekuwa mkirealize for the last kutoka uh, the current president aingie uongozini <laughs> hakuna mtu mmoja amekuwa missing in action paka kwa siasa anaitwa Gideon Moi <laughs> Gideon Moi alikuja karealize manze sasa mambo yameharibika siwezi tena ongea ill of the government kwa sababu kai kwa mtu anajua familia Moi in and out is the same William Ruto <laughs> The guy was more to a son kwa Moi than even Gideon Moi alikupenda William Ruto sana alikompenda sana kwa sababu wote Ruto yeye eh, alikuwa anashinda gas state house uh, cause after leaving parliament in 1997 Do you know is the same Ruto mwenye alitumika kwenda kuambia Makto a step down for uhuru Kenyatta aweze kuingia kwa parliament <laughs> alikuwa ametumwa na Moi Moi alikuwa na trust sana Ruto William Ruto na ndio maana uliona after Ruto alichukua uongozi Gideon Moi ali have kunyamaza kwa sababu anajua in and out of Moi's family anajua kila kitu 
<laughs> eh sasa inanishtua sasa hizi ni ati after two William Ruto aliingia hivi mtu wangu hii kampuni tunge tu kweli hii kampuni inaanguka mm waikosa kujiangalia vizuri kwa sababu kama hujailipa ufanye kazi yako for 10 months meaning amna do unajue hiyo kampuni ni big <laughs> iko na iko paka na magazeti eh? iko na radio iko na tv ni nini hiyo inaenda vibaya kwa sababu these guys they have tried, they have tried even rebranding kama kuna tv na jeme imeji rebrand mara nyingi ni hiyo imejaribu mpaka kwa eh, KTN news ikajaribu kuwa na KTN home hii KTN home inafanyiwa rebranding kila siku lakini vitu wazingiani but usiwachukulie vibaya these guys work very hard by the way kwa sababu product zao zinakuwa machua ukiangalia okay, kina vibes radio radio maisha eh, the, kuna hii kwanza kuna kipindi moja naipenda inaoga spice fm inaitwa the situation room vitu zao zinakuwa poa lakini ni kwa nini uh, uh, yani wana make losses ni mtu mmoja tu pale alienda kamesi biashara aka miscalculate aka akangusha hii kampuni so i mean i wish them all the best kwa sababu mtu wangu kitu kama standard group imeajiri watu wengi sana imeajiri watu wengi sana na ni vibaya sana hiyo kampuni yanguke watu wengi wako renda jobless hii na nafanya sisi kuna kai Kenya mtu wangu kama wewe uko na kazi Kenya shukuru Mungu kwa sababu watu wengi wanaumia eh tunaomba tu yenyewe gavai angalie story yote kukulima wa biashara kwa sababu akana sure you high taxation inafanya makampuni zitoke Kenya kwa sababu sasa hizi hata kama hata kai no employer unaambia pa kulipile 1% ya your employee ya, ya housing NHIF NSSF ai <laughs> mtu wangu tuko pabaya na kwa hayo machache na shukuru sana kwa kunisikiza Mungu wabariki na kwa wale walio wajani follow on TikTok wani follow na kwa wale waja, waja subscribe on YouTube wa subscribe asante